Hello everyone and welcome to the video on how to unlock every single character and every single preset of every single character as of January the 1st, 2024 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So I've done videos like this in the past. So as usual, there will be timestamps in the description and in the pinned comment. But before we do that, just make sure you listen to this part very quickly because I have a feeling quite a few of you have picked this up over the holidays, like the game, or you'll be getting it soon for next gen ps5 xbox series x etc so in the description on youtube right now the way it works is that you can only have a total of five thousand characters now for this context a character doesn't mean like goku or vegeta or tien or have you a character is a letter a number a symbol even a space and again as of right now i can only pull a total of five thousand of those in the description of this video. I'm only saying that because I won't be able to put every single character and every single preset in the description. Instead, the description will be full, don't get me wrong, but it'll be what I think you will need to know, like for example, preset 10 of Goku or something. But then in the pinned comment of the video, I will put the list there more broken down and i'll put a part two a part three possibly even a part four however many parts are needed i'll also put those in the comments uh, just so you can go and expand the comment and then click on control find to type in the character now for this version of this video i'm not going to put the word preset in brackets or parentheses or what have you so like for example if it's go home beast i'll probably just put go home beast but for example on raditz perfect character for this like preset 2 will just be called raditz preset 2 rather than raditz parentheses preset 2 so expand the description and the comments then type in the character that you want if it has multiple presets for example if you want to know how to get preset i don't know 10 or 11 of goku just type in goku preset number here then you will get a clickable timestamp to jump to that character right there and in the meantime apart from that do me a favor if this video was useful or entertaining or have you please leave a like on the video and subscribe about 50 percent of you are not subscribed and that said i do hope you find this video useful and let's get on with it okay Okay, let's start. So for this, I'm going to be making a brand new character so I can actually, well, unlock the characters and presets. Oh, yes. So once we've done that, thank you, Tolsock, for getting me to level 99. Hey, guys, can I get a like on the video for Tolsock? Thank you ever so much. So once we're level 99 and we've defeated Raditz, we now need to do the tutorial parallel quest. You can technically look at what characters you have after you defeat Raditz, but for this, I just want to go and do the parallel quest that you have to do because we've got to do it anyway. So once we've defeated Raditz and the tutorial parallel quest, these are the characters we now have unlocked. Those being the following. Preset 1 of Goku. Preset 1 of Kid Gohan. Preset 1 of Piccolo. Preset 1 of Krillin. Preset 1 of Tien. Preset 1 of Yamcha. Cyberman. The Vinless Mode Cyberman, which, side note, there's a few Vinless Mode characters here. These can only be used in the Crystal Raid modes. Preset 1 of Raditz. Preset 1 of Nappa. Preset 1 of Vegeta. The Vinless Mode or Preset 2 of Hercule and Jacko. That was what you get for defeating Raditz and for clearing the tutorial parallel quest. Side note, you may notice here I've got other characters already unlocked, such as... 
Zeno Trunks, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and a few others. Those are from the partner customization keys, which you can get from raids. Again, we will be going over those in this video. Do check the description and or pinned comment and comments and whatever for timestamps to jump to the custom characters, like as you see right here, custom Super Saiyan for Goku. <laughs> so as we now continue through the story mode for Dragon Ball Universe 2, at this point we can decide which one of these we want to do first, either the Earth history, the Saiyan threat, or the Namek history, the Ruckus on planet Namek. For the purposes of this video, I'll be starting off with the Earth history, the Saiyan threat. So that said, once we finish this saga by defeating Great Ape Vegeta, we only unlock three presets of existing characters, those being preset four of Goku, preset five of Goku, and preset two of Piccolo. And once we clear the ruckus on planet Namek by defeating Dodoria with the help of Vegeta, we unlock the following. Preset 5 of Vegeta, preset 1 of Zarbon, and preset 1 of Dodoria. Clearing the Ginyu Force saga in the Xenoverse 2 story mode will actually get you quite a few different presets and five new characters that we didn't previously have. Starting with preset 6 of Goku, preset 7 of Goku, the Ginyu Goku, preset 3 of Kid Gohan, preset 6 of Vegeta, preset 1 of Goldo, preset 1 of Raccoon, Preset 1 of Berta, Preset 1 of Jace, and Preset 1 of Captain Ginyu. Clearing the Freezer Saga by defeating Freezer and Cooler will get you quite a few presets and new characters, laws being Preset 9 of Goku, which is the first preset of Goku to have Super Saiyan, Preset 4 of Kid Gohan, Preset 3 of Piccolo, Preset 3 of Krillin, Preset 7 of Vegeta, Nail, Turles, Lord Slug, Preset 1 of Freezer First Form, Preset 1 of Freezer Final Form, Preset 1 of Freezer Full Power, and Fourth Form Cooler. Moving on now, once we defeat Perfect Cell with the help of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, once again, we get quite a few presets and new characters unlocked. Those being preset 11 of Goku, preset 1 of Team Gohan, preset 4 of Piccolo, preset 2 of Tien, preset 3 of Yamcha, Metal Cooler, Android 16, Preset 1 of Android 17, Preset 2 of Android 17, Preset 1 of Android 18, First Form Cell, Full Power Cell, and Preset 1 of Cell Junior. Now, after we defeated Cell in the Cell Saga, it's now time to go for the A Desperate Future Saga, which is fairly short. But clearing this will get you Future Trunks, Preset 1, Future Gohan, Preset 1, and Perfect Cell, Preset 1. Side note, after you've defeated Android 16 and Perfect Cell with the help of Trunks, it doesn't end there. You do have to talk to Elder Kai in the Time Nest, and they just play the cutscene of Future Gohan and Android 17 and 18 or something like that. Then you finish it. So if you've defeated Cell and Android 16, but you don't get these unlocked, just talk to Elder Kai, and then from there, you then go and do the tutorial parallel quests. After clearing the Margin Boo Saga, the A Decisive Battle with Margin Boo, or whatever it's exactly called, you will unlock preset 13 of Goku, which I believe is the first Goku preset that has Super Saiyan 3, preset 15 of Goku, Preset 1 of Adult Gohan, which is Mystic Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, whatever you want to call it. Preset 5 of Piccolo. Preset 9 of Vegeta. Preset 1 of Margin Vegeta, also known as in the game Prince of Destruction Vegeta. Preset 1 of Margin Boo. Preset 1 of Super Boo. Preset 1 of Kid Boo. 
preset one of Janemba, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, the super villain mode of Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, and preset one of Gold Tanks. Do keep in mind if you're following this video, then at this point of the story mode, if you click next, you'll go straight into the next saga. But for this, I went to the time nest. But if you just click next, it will take you to the next saga, just in case you're, for example, keeping track or following along with this video you may unlock a few more characters before you check them if that makes sense doesn't matter moving on clearing the god of destruction's anger saga which is fairly short i say it's fairly short it's two missions i believe because it goes straight from the margin boo saga you only get two well one preset and one new character those being preset 17 of goku and preset one of god of destruction beerus clearing the emperor's return saga the resurrection of f arc we want to call it clearing this and then talking to Weez and then defeating Weez in the time nest to fully clear this arc you'll then get the following and we have quite a few here preset one of super sane blue goku preset three of adult gohan which is tracksuit gohan from resurrection of f preset five of krillin preset three of tn preset one of super Saiyan blue vegeta also known as ssg ss because sure why not you also get a pool raspberry preset two of first form freezer golden freezer super villain mold golden freezer super villain mold metal cooler god of destruction beerus preset 2 and whiz so we are very close to finishing the story mode and getting every character and preset that we can get from the story mode not quite yet but we're getting very well we are close but with that said the next two sagas the masked sign and then the warrior from the demon world these are two very short sagas there's only like two missions each so just for the purpose of making this video a bit more straightforward i'm going to be combining these two into one sort of recap so this is what you get from clearing both the masked sign saga as well as the warrior from the demon world saga and you unlock the following preset four of future trunks which is xeno trunks and preset six of future trunks which is the captain ginyu trunks but with that said i don't remember getting this when we first unlocked trunks or when we cleared the ginyu force or freezer saga so i don't know if this is a mistake on my end and we already had this but i think you get this from clearing the game which is weird because it's ginyu whatever don't worry about it. If you're following this video, you've already got this unlocked by this time. Again, don't worry about it. But moving on, we also have Bardock Preset 3, The Masked Sane, Preset 1 of Tower, Preset 1 of Mirror, Preset 2 of Mirror, Super Villain Mirror, and DBS Future Trunks Preset 1. Side note, the well, DBS Future Trunks is also a pre-order early unlock character so if you may already have this unlocked but if not you get him from clearing the dragon ball xenoverse 2 story mode up until the credits roll and now we have the unknown history the secret ending i guess there's only two missions here but to be able to actually get to them and to actually access them we need to collect the five distorted time eggs this is how you do them it doesn't matter what order you do it in starting off with the namekian time rift you need to clear the guru missions it's either seven times or it's 14 times once you've done it you, you'll then be able to talk to guru again and he'll then give you the distorted time egg i don't know again if it's seven times or 14 times but if you do it 14 times in total that will then give you access to get to i believe past level 80 so if you want to get super saiyan blue super saiyan blue evolution just do it 14 times in total to get the capsule corp time rift talk to bulma in the capsule corp time rift after you finish training with vegeta keep in mind this isn't the super saiyan training if you're a saiyan character so if you're doing this on a saiyan character you have to do the super saiyan stuff where you get super saiyan and one two and three unlocked in the same like well the super saiyan awoken right and then to talk to him to just train with him in general which you can do on any character 
you should get the you your number one i think the achievement or trophy pop up to know that you've done it but then you'll be able to talk to Bulma and she'll then give you the Capsule Corp Time Rift Distorted Time Egg. To get the Time Egg from the Margin Boo Time Rift, thankfully this is incredibly simple. Just keep feeding Margin Boo until he gives you it. You can use water, you'll just have to make a few trips to and from the, well, from Margin Boo's house to the what is that, the item shop in Canton City. But just keep doing that, just keep feeding him water and he'll keep making margins. And then eventually, after a few minutes, he'll then give you the next distorted time egg. To get the Hercule House time rift distorted time egg, you'll need to go there and talk to the Great Saiyan Man and you'll then have to clear all six of the missions with the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 and Jacko, I believe it is. And then once you've done all six of them, then talk to Hercule and he'll then give you that distorted time egg. If you can't progress through the next missions here, you'll have to either leave and do some missions and then come back and or level up. I believe you may have to le you know, level up at least five times. If you're level, I think it's 60 or 65, don't quote me there, you'll be able to do them one after another or after leaving and reloading, stuff like that. It's fairly straightforward. I don't think we really need to go into too much detail. Just keep doing them, and if they don't appear, just level up. Fairly straightforward. But then we have the final time egg, the Freezy Ship Time Rift Distorted Time Egg, which is the most complicated and time consuming. So to get this, first you'll need to clear every mission that is available in Freezer's spaceship. Work your way through, it doesn't matter who you talk to because it's like two paths I think, but they all lead to the same destination. It does not matter what you do. But then you'll get to a point where you may not be able to actually go and progress so with that said once you've done that you might have to leave the ship and then do some missions until you get the pop-up saying summons at freezer's spaceship once you do that go there and if you chose the freezer path talk to garden freezer or if you chose the cooler path talk to metal cooler there'll only be one option there do that and then you should be able to talk to naval who is in freezer's spaceship and if you've done everything he will then give you that distorted time egg again from the freezer time rift once you've done that again that's the most time consuming but it's just complete everything and then if if you don't get the pop-up the summons at freezer spaceship maybe reload the game or do some parallel quest it, it, i think you need to wait it, there's not like a timer but you have to do some stuff to like make it tick over if that makes sense i hope so if not <laughs> yeah uh, but then once you've done that again talk to naval who is in freezer spaceship and he'll then finally give you that distorted time egg once you have all three of them again it does not matter what order you do the main you can do them in any order you want but once you've then done that and got all five of them then go and talk to supreme kai time who's standing outside of the time vault inside of the time nest and she'll say yeah well done excellent work or whatever it is then talk to trunks again who's in the time nest as usual in his usual place and then you'll be able to progress and do the unknown history Ah, <laughs> and now finally once you can actually go and do the unknown history by getting all five of the distorted time eggs again talk to trunks and there's only two missions here the first mission you play as bardock against mirror where you progress from base form to super saiyan 1 to super saiyan 2 to super saiyan 3 then you defeat mirror and then you play as future gohan versus the future androids android 17 and android 18 then the help of super saiyan trunks then once you've done that that's it that's the normal story mode done with that said once you've done that you do get three presets here those being preset five of future trunks which i believe is also a xeno trunks variant preset four of bardock and preset four of mirror and congratulations that's every character and every preset you can get from the story mode of dragon balls in the verse 2 you do need to do the Tolkopedia stuff to unlock custom food, but again, we'll go over that later on in this video. Do check the description and or pinned comment and or my other comments in the comment section for a direct timestamp if you want to know how to unlock food and custom food in Xenoverse 2. We don't need to do any of the DLC story or any of the extra story mode stuff you don't get any characters or any presets of characters from clearing lows at least not as of the upload of this video once again congratulations you've unlocked every character and every 
preset of every character that's available to unlock through the story mode of Xenoverse 2, but we are nowhere near close to being done yet. And now we have the characters and preset of characters that you can unlock through completing various parallel quests. Do keep in mind that you don't get a character or a preset from every single parallel quest, but a fair few of them you do. So that said, before I get into it, if you have been following this video so far and you've been like following along and just stuff like that and you've not done any parallel quests so far but you've completed the Xenoverse 2 secret ending, these are the parallel quests you have unlocked right now without doing any other parallel quests apart from the tutorial one. So that said, and you can rewind this because I want to go over this part right here very quickly, it's parallel quest 1, 2, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17, 20, 22, 23, 25, 29, 31, 33, 35, 40, 43, 47, 53, 57, 61, 63, 70, 75, 77, 81, 87, 90, and 98. Now you may have noticed there that there's a few missing because it's one all the way to 100 than the DLC parallel quests and as of right now you don't get any characters or any preset of characters from doing the DLC parallel quests so that's great but with that said there's one to 100 but as you may have just saw and as you can see on the screen right now there's a few missing so to unlock the previous parallel quest that's like a gap you'll need to and this is assuming that you've already completed the Xenoverse 2 story mode but you'll have to go through and do the Xenoverse 2 story mode, then complete the immediate well, previous immediate previous parallel quests. For, so, for example, again, as a random example, if you don't have parallel quest number 10 unlocked, you'll have to do parallel quest number 9. I think that's fairly straightforward. I just want to mention that because, well, I'll more than likely be repeating that anyway because of timestamps and stuff like that. And there's a few parallel quests that you actually unlock through talking to various characters in Canton City, such as Android 17, uh, I think Crinan's there or whatever. But again, we'll go over those later on if and when there's anything to be unlocked from those previously mentioned parallel quests. Starting off the parallel quests, we have parallel quest number two, and you get three presets from clearing this, those being the following. Preset two of Goku, Preset 5 of Kid Gohan and Preset 2 of Raditz. Do keep in mind that Preset 5 of Gohan is from the ultimate finish on this parallel quest. It's very easy to get the ultimate finish. You can do it right straight forward. So that said, if you don't get the ultimate finish, you'll need to get the ultimate finish maybe to get uh, preset 5 of Kid Gohan. I'm not entirely sure because again, how easy this mission is. I got it on the first try for this video. So do just keep that in mind. Moving on now to the next parallel quest in Dragon Ball Universe 2 where you can actually get something new that being parallel quest number 5. Now to unlock parallel quest number 5 clear parallel quest number 4 and before that number 3 and you'll then get parallel quest number 5 unlocked. With that said clearing this will get you preset 3 of Goku and preset 3 of Raditz and preset 3 of Goku does appear in the ultimate finish so you might need to get the ultimate finish just in case you do here are the ultimate finish win conditions for parallel quest number five moving on to parallel quest number six now to unlock this you just need to progress through the story mode of Xenoverse 2 you don't need to do the previous parallel quests so do just keep that in mind if you don't have it unlocked for whatever reason just complete or rather progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. With that said, clearing this mission, you don't need the ultimate finish, but clearing this mission will get you the Kaiwen Man and the Kwaiokona Man, I don't know how to pronounce it, presets of the Cyberman, which I believe it would be preset 2 and preset 3 of the Cyberman character. And after parallel quest number 6, we now have parallel quest number 7. To unlock this, you do need to clear parallel quest number six but clearing this and you do not need the ultimate finish for this but clearing this parallel quest will get you preset three of Nappa and preset two of Vegeta as playable characters 
in Dragon Wars in Reverse 2. Moving on, we now have Parallel Quest number 8. To unlock this, as you may have guessed, you just need to clear the previous Parallel Quests, or rather, Parallel Quest number 7. And clearing this will get you Preset 2 of Kid Gohan, Preset 2 of Krillin, and Preset 2 of of Yamcha. Clearing parallel quest number nine, which you can get just from progressing through the story mode, so you don't have to do the previous parallel quests. Clearing parallel quest number nine will just give you preset three of Nappa. And for clearing parallel quest number 10, to unlock this, just clear parallel quest number nine. But if you clear parallel quest number 10, you will get preset four of Vegeta. Moving on now to Parallel Quest number 11 and also shout out to everyone who has watched this video from the very start. How many times have I repeated myself? Do let me know but with that said, <laughs> but with that said, clearing Parallel Quest number 11 which to unlock this just clear Parallel Quest number 10 but if you clear Parallel Quest number 11 you will get preset free of Vegeta unlocked. And now we have Parallel Quest number 14, which is a bit of a different Parallel Quest in terms of how you actually go and get it unlocked. Now to actually unlock Parallel Quest 14, you need to talk to this Cyberman here in the Namekian area in Kanton City. Talk to him and once you've cleared the Parallel Quest once, you can then access it again, like through like the normal means. But if you don't see this Cyberman here, Try progressing through the Xenoverse 2 story mode and complete the previous parallel quests and then he should be there. But he should be there anyway if, you are, if you're just following along with this video. But once you've cleared this parallel quest, you will get the Copyman variant of the Cyberman, the Tenorman version of the Cyberman and the Jinkyoman, if that's how you pronounce it, version of the Cyberman. The next parallel quest we have is Parallel Quest 15. To unlock this, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode and you will, or rather you should, have this unlocked. Again, if it's not unlocked, just progress through the story mode. But clearing this will give you preset 2 of Berta, preset 2 of Jace, and preset 3 of Captain Ginyu, which is the Vegeta variant of Captain Ginyu. The next parallel quest that you can actually unlock something from is parallel quest 14. And to unlock this, once again, like the previous one, just progress through the story mode of Dragon Ball Universe 2. And it will, it, well, it's one of those that unlocks again, just from progressing rather than doing the previous parallel quests. But completing this will just give you one preset of a, of a character we've already got, which is preset four of Captain Ginyu, which is the Zeno Trunks variant of Captain Ginyu. Clearing Parallel Quest 18, and to get Parallel Quest 18, just clear Parallel Quest 17. But once you've cleared Parallel Quest 18, you will get Preset 2 of Goldo unlocked. And clearing Parallel Quest 19, and yes, you guessed it, to unlock Parallel Quest 18, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 18, but once you've cleared Parallel Quest 19, you will unlock the second preset of Raccoon and preset 2 of Captain Ginyu. Moving on now to the next Parallel Quest where you can get something new from, that being Parallel Quest number 22. And to unlock this, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. Then once you've got it unlocked and you've cleared it, clearing this will get you preset 2 of Zarbon and preset 2 of Dodoria. Moving on from Parallel Quest 22, the next Parallel Quest where you actually get something new from is Parallel Quest 25, and to unlock this, much like Parallel Quest 22, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode, then once you've got it unlocked and you've cleared it, you will get preset 10 of Goku unlocked and a new character, which is Final Form Cooler. And now we have Parallel Quest number 26. To unlock this Parallel Quest, just clear Parallel Quest number 25. Now, with that said, I think I may have made a bit of a mistake here, and that's this. I think you unlock preset 2 of Final Form Freezer from this parallel quest, but 
I don't know. <laughs> if you don't get him from this parallel quest, it's one of the previous, like, parallel quest 25, 24, 23. It's one of those. I'm fairly certain that you do. I just can't check it and, you know, confirm it again because, well, I've already got him unlocked. So if it's not from this parallel quest, with proof, please do let me know which parallel quest it is. Tweet me or what have you. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm almost certain that you get preset 2 of Final Form Freezer from this Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 26. We get nothing from Parallel Quest 27, but maybe still do it because the next Parallel Quest we get something from is Parallel Quest 28, but it's one of those that you have to go into the overworld to unlock. So that said, talk to a pool in Canton City. Well, first, well, not Parallel Quest 27, talk to Metal Cooler in Canton City, do that mission, and then talk to a pool in Canton City. He is around this area right here, and that will then get you access to this Parallel quest and clearing this parallel quest will then give you access to preset three of first form freezer as a playable character a little bit awkward but it shouldn't be that awkward in all fairness and now we have parallel quest 29 to unlock this parallel quest just progress through the xenoverse 2 story mode and once you've cleared this parallel quest you'll then get access to preset three of Android 18. Moving on now to Parallel Quest 32 and to unlock Parallel Quest 32 you just need to clear Parallel Quest 31. Side note, Parallel Quest 31 does not give you anything new but you do have to clear it just to get access to Parallel Quest 32. With that said, clearing this will get you access to preset 2 of Cell Jr. Now for the next Parallel Quest, which is Parallel Quest 34, and to unlock this, just clear Parallel Quest 33. I may have made a slight mistake once again here, but that said, I think you unlock preset 8 of Goku and preset 4 of Krillin from this Parallel Quest, but you do 100% unlock preset 5 of Captain Ginyu. Again, I'm not entirely sure if you do unlock preset 8 of Goku and preset 4 of Krillin from this parallel quest. If you don't, then you unlock them from one of the previous parallel quests, as in parallel quest 33, 32, 31. The, it's not really that important because you're going to get these anyway, just from more than likely playing the game. But yeah, that's my bad right there. Moving on now to the next parallel quest where you can actually get something new, Parallel Quest 36. So to unlock this, you do need to clear Parallel Quest 35 anyway. But clearing this will get you access to preset three of Future Trunks, preset two of Team Gohan, and preset two of Perfect Cell. Clearing Parallel Quest 38, and to unlock Parallel Quest 38, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 37, but clearing Parallel Quest 38 will get you preset 12 of Goku as a playable character. And now we have Parallel Quest 39. To unlock Parallel Quest 39, try clearing Parallel Quest 38 and then talk to Android 17 in Canton City. He's around this area right here. But clearing this parallel quest will get you preset 8 of Vegeta and preset 2 of Android 18. Next up, we have Parallel Quest 43. And to unlock this, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode until you have this parallel quest unlocked. But when you've got it unlocked and you've cleared it, you will get preset 2 of Future Trunks as a playable character. We get nothing new from Parallel Quest 44, but we need to clear that anyway to get access to Parallel Quest 45. And clearing Parallel Quest 45, we get preset 3 of Cell Jr. To unlock Parallel Quest 47, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode, and then you'll unlock it. And then once you have got Parallel Quest 47 unlocked and you've cleared it, you will get preset 2 of Margin Vegeta, or as it's called in the game, well, preset 2 of Prince of Destruction Vegeta. Yeah, sure, why not? It's the same thing. <laughs> Next up, we have Parallel Quest 48. To unlock this, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 47. Then once you've cleared that and you have this one unlocked and cleared it, 
you unlock quite a few, well, I say a few things, you unlock three presets. You unlock preset one of Kid Trunks, preset two of Kid Trunks, and preset one of Golten. And now we have parallel quest number 50. To unlock this, just clear the previous parallel quest or parallel quests, so parallel quest 49. And if you clear this parallel quest, you will unlock preset three of Margin Boo, which is the small version of Margin Boo. And if you're following this video from the start or the parallel or from the parallel quest driver, congratulations, you are now halfway through all the characters and presets that can be unlocked through parallel quests, as this is parallel quest number 50 and there's a hundred pedal quests in total congratulations 50 left <laughs> so moving on now with the second half of the parallel quests starting off with parallel quest 51 now to unlock this try clearing parallel quest 50 but i don't think that's absolutely necessary so just progress with the story mode then talk to the great same man in canton city he's around this general area if he's not here just again do the previous parallel quests try leveling up and or try progressing through the story mode then once you see him and you can talk to him clearing this parallel quest will get you unsurprisingly enough the great same man as a playable character moving on to parallel quest 53 now to unlock this just progress through the story mode and then clearing this parallel quest will get you the great sign man 2 videl as a playable character well actually i say videl no that's a different character slot but this gets you the great sign man 2 who just happens to be videl spoilers I guess. After you clear Parallel Quest 53, you'll then get access to Parallel Quest 54, and clearing Parallel Quest 54 will get you preset 14 of Goku and preset 2 of Margin Boo. And much like clearing Parallel Quest 53 unlocks you Parallel Quest 54, if you complete Parallel Quest 54, you'll then get access to the 55th Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 55, and clearing this Parallel Quest will get you preset 2 of Gold Tanks unlocked and preset 2 of Super Boo unlocked as playable characters moving on now to parallel quest 56 and for some reason i feel like a lot of you will be jumping to this part in the video so if you are jumping here hello how you doing <laughs> So to get this, it's slightly tricky, but it's nothing too major. So firstly, just do the general stuff like clear the previous parallel quests, try leveling up and progress through the story mode. This is in the verse 2 story mode. But here's where it may become a little bit tricky. You'll need to talk to Kid Trunks in Canton City. The issue being is that he will appear twice. The first time he appears, he may be closer to the time nest where you do the story mode and go into the time vault. So if he is there... Clear that and then reload Canton City and then go to this area right here and he'll appear here to get this parallel quest. And then clearing this parallel quest will get you preset one of Hercule unlocked and preset one of Videl unlocked. Again, he'll only appear you know like at one time so if he appears the time nest first which i well, by the time uh gate or whatever it's called if he appears there first which i think he will if he does just clear it and then go into a parallel quest or a loading screen well not a loading screen go into like a parallel quest and back out or reload the game or have you then again go to the area that i mentioned a little bit ago and he should be standing there moving on now to parallel quest 57 to unlock this, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode and at some point or eventually you will get access to it. But if you do clear this parallel quest, you will get Super Vinless Mode Janemba and Preset 2 of Super Gogeta, Super Saiyan Gogeta rather, same thing, as playable characters to unlock parallel quest 58 just clear the previous parallel quest that being parallel quest 57 and then clearing parallel quest 58 will get you preset 2 of kid boo unlocked to unlock parallel quest 59 just clear parallel quest 58 and then clearing parallel quest 59 will get you preset 1 of vegeto unlocked as a playable character and then once you've cleared parallel quest 59 you'll get access to parallel quest 60 and completing this parallel quest will get you preset 16 of goku 
preset 10 of Vegeta and Super Venus Mode Kid Buu as playable characters. And moving on now to unlock Parallel Quest 61, just make progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. And then completing this Parallel Quest will get you preset 2 of Videl unlocked as a playable character. And now we're on Parallel Quest 62. To unlock Parallel Quest 62, just clear the previous Parallel Quest Parallel Quest 61 and then clearing Parallel Quest 62 will unlock for you as a playable character in Xenoverse 2 preset 2 of Full Power Freezer. Moving on to the next Parallel Quest where you can actually get something new from, that being Parallel Quest 65. Clearing Parallel Quest 64 is how you unlock this Parallel Quest, then clearing it will get you access to preset 3 of Gotenks. I also feel like there's gonna be a few people jumping to this part of the video specifically, and if you are, once again, hey, how you doing? Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But to unlock Super Saiyan God Goku, just clear Parallel Quest 67. And to unlock Parallel Quest 67, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, that being Parallel Quest 66. Moving on now to Parallel Quest 71. To unlock Parallel Quest 71, just clear Parallel Quest 70 and the prior Parallel Quests if need be. But once you have cleared Parallel Quest 70, you will unlock Ramon, Orlen, Monre, and Gupre. I've probably mispronounced those names, but you know what I'm saying. Well, you, you can tell what I'm saying because of what's on the screen. You will unlock those four as playable characters. We don't get anything new from clearing Parallel Quest 72, but we have to clear that anyway to unlock access to Parallel Quest 73. And if you clear Parallel Quest number 73, you will unlock Nibana, Rollberry, and Naval as playable characters. To unlock the next Parallel Quest, that being Parallel Quest 74, you need to talk to Raspberry in Canton City. He's around the Namekian area, as you can see right here. If for whatever reason he's not there or you can't talk to him or get the mission or have you, try you know, clearing the previous Parallel Quests, try leveling up and try progressing through the Dragon Balls in Universe 2 story mode. But once you've got this Parallel Quest unlocked and you've cleared it, you'll get preset six of Captain Ginyu. To unlock Parallel Quest 76, just clear Parallel Quest 75, and clearing Parallel Quest 76 will unlock you preset 18 of Goku and preset 11 of Vegeta, also known as the Sane Beyond God preset of Goku and Vegeta. And to unlock Parallel Quest 77, all you need to do is progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode. And then clearing this Parallel Quest, once again, Parallel Quest 77 will get you preset 5 of Videl and preset 1 of Bardock unlocked. Moving on now to Parallel Quest 81. To unlock this, just progress through the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode until you have it unlocked. But once you've got it unlocked and you've cleared it, this Parallel Quest will give you preset 1 of Super Gogeta. Moving on to Parallel Quest 83. To unlock this, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, that being Parallel Quest 82. But once you've got this Parallel Quest unlocked and you've cleared this Parallel Quest, you will unlock Preset 2 of Adult Gohan, Preset 2 of Kid Trunks, Preset 2 of Golten, and Preset 4 of Fidel. The next Parallel Quest you can get something from is Parallel Quest 84. To unlock Parallel Quest 84, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, Parallel Quest 83. But clearing Parallel Quest number 84 will get you preset 2 of Bardock. We get nothing new from Parallel Quest 85, but maybe do it anyway, because for Parallel Quest 86, we need to talk to Golten in Canton City. He should be around the World Tournament area, as you can see right here. If he's not here and or he doesn't give you the mission or you can't start the mission or anything like that, just make sure you've cleared the previous Parallel Quest or like the immediate previous Parallel Quests, as in Parallel Quest 85, 84, 82, etc, etc, etc. 
hurrah, progress through the story mode, the Xenoverse 2 story mode, and try leveling up. But once you've cleared this parallel quest, you will get Super Vinless mode, Yamcha, unlocked. To unlock parallel quest 89, just clear the previous parallel quest, that being parallel quest number 88. And then clearing parallel quest 89 will get you preset 3 of Adele and preset 2 of Vegito as playable characters. And now we have parallel quest number 90. To unlock this parallel quest, just progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode until you get it unlocked. And then clearing this parallel quest will get you super villainous mode, full power cell. We are now in the final 10 parallel quests. But we don't have to do all of these to get something that we don't already have. So next up, we have Parallel Quest 91. To unlock this Parallel Quest, just clear Parallel Quest 90. And then clearing Parallel Quest 91 will get you preset free of Vegito as a playable character. Oh yes, take it to the Grand Hall, Grand Hall Dragon Ball GT. Moving on to Parallel Quest 92. To get this, just clear Parallel Quest 91 and then clearing Parallel Quest 92 will get you GT Trunks and GT Goku as playable characters. I believe it would be preset one, I think, of GT Goku. Clearing Parallel Quest 92 will get you access to Parallel Quest 93 and clearing this parallel quest will get you preset 2 of GT Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and Pan as playable characters. Side note, I think I made a mistake here. If I don't know if you get all, the, all of those I've just mentioned from this parallel quest, parallel quest 93. If not, then you get at least some of these from the previous parallel quest, but you're going to be doing this anyway, just as you progress and stuff like that. So that's my bad there. But once I have them unlocked, I can't re-unlock them because I can't delete them. Then re-unlock them. I do apologize, but this should be fairly straightforward and honestly common sense, in my opinion, anyway, that you unlock these from like the GT parallel quests. Moving on. Clearing Parallel Quest 94, and to unlock that, just clear the previous Parallel Quest, that being Parallel Quest 93. But once you've unlocked and cleared Parallel Quest 94, you will unlock Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as a playable character. To unlock Parallel Quest 95, just clear Parallel Quest 94. Then clearing Parallel Quest 95 will get you preset 2 of GT Goku and Super 17. Once you've cleared Parallel Quest 95, you will get Parallel Quest 96 unlocked and then completing Parallel Quest 96 will get you Super Villainous Mode Omega Shenron and preset 2 of Pan. And now we have the final parallel quest where you can get something new, either be a character or a preset from. In Xenoverse 2, finally, we are here on parallel quest 97. To unlock parallel quest 97, complete the previous parallel quest, that being parallel quest 96. And then completing parallel quest 97 will get you preset free of Mira unlocked as a playable character in Dragon Ball Xenoverse oh, 2. And like I said, well, we're not done yet, but that's ev if you've been following this video along so far, we've now unlocked every single character and every single preset of every single character that can be unlocked from both the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode as well as through the parallel quests. There's a few more, but you don't get anything new from those. I tried, you get nothing at all that we don't already have. You might be able to unlock some stuff that you don't already have. Uh, well, you know, like if you skipped past, like I think you maybe get like preset. I think like a gold to preset. I don't know, but basically after Parallel Quest 97, you do not get anything new. There's three more Parallel Quests, 98, 99 and 100. You just get skills and stuff like that. There's a lot of DLC story, uh, not story mode, what there is. There's a lot of DLC parallel quests, but you don't unlock any new characters and or any presets of characters from those parallel quests. So that's, so once again, we are now done with the parallel quest section of this video. Okay, moving on now to the characters that you can unlock from summoning Shenron and clicking on the I want more usable character 
which options. Before we get into that, I do want to go over what the best ways, in my opinion right now, to get Dragon Balls in Xenoverse 2, and that is from farming Parallel Quest 23. Parallel Quest 23 can be unlocked just after you clear Parallel Quest 22 and progress through the Xenoverse 2 story mode, but what makes this Parallel Quest specifically the fastest and most efficient and stuff like that for specifically getting Dragon Balls is that, well, Three time patrollers spawn here after you defeat Frieza. It's a very easy parallel quest, it's like, like level 26, 27, 28 ish, give or take, depending on like you know, which time patrollers you get. And three time patrollers spawn after you defeat Frieza. But here's the trick, I guess, is that normally time patrollers on parallel quests will scale depending on what level you are. So if you're level 99, most of them will be around level 99, maybe 87, around that range. But regardless of what your level is, for this parallel quest specifically, they stay the same level, again, in like the mid-20s to like 30-ish. So it's between 25, I think, the lowest I saw, maybe even 24, to about 30, 31, 30. To, I think. With the correct build, as you can see right here, you can just one shot all of them with Final Explosion, Super Vegeta 2, or whatever build you're running, Turn Golden, a Limit Burst, and you can get, I think you can get, up to three Dragon Balls per run. But do keep in mind, it is random, it is RNG, so you could do this 10 times and not get any, but it's just the fastest one to do. You will get a Dragon Ball from at least most of the attempts that you do. It's not gonna take you that long at all. A different method, it's a bit more long-winded, but this is a different method on how to get a guaranteed Dragon Ball. And it's, well, you need to have at least one character slot free and then keep making and then deleting that character. Basically make a character, defeat Raditz, and then go to this area right here in Canton City and talk to this Canton City resident right here, like level two, I think, or level one, they don't have a move set. Defeat them, and you will get a guaranteed Dragon Ball, starting with the four-star Dragon Ball. And if you have all the Dragon Balls and you keep doing this, she'll just give you, I believe it's a legendary Hercule badge, which, of course, you can sell and stuff like that. That's a bit more long-winded because of loading screens, but you will get a guaranteed Dragon Ball every time you do it. Again, the only downside to that is that it will take a, what, a while just because of the loading and stuff like that. And you do need to have at least one character slot free to do this. So again, you can keep doing it, delete, keep doing it, delete, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But for the most part, you're gonna want to probably just do parallel quest 23. And then once you've got the Dragon Balls and then you summon Shenron, you're gonna want to click on the I want more usable characters option. There's, again, four characters you can unlock here. The first character you unlock is Hit. And I don't know if you also get a Welkin. Well, I got a Welkin hit here. But I don't know if you get a Welkin hit in general. Or if you need to have DLC 1, the DB Super Pack 1. So if you summon Shenron and you go for the, you know, I want more usable uh, characters. And you get hit, but you don't get a Welkin hit. Then just know that I believe you will need to get... DLC pack one, the DB Super pack one. Now, the second time you do this, I unlocked Ice Shenron, and the third time I unlocked Nova Shenron, but I don't know if this is the order that you will get them in. So, for example, the second time you do it, you may get Nova Shenron, and then the third time you may get Ice Shenron. I'm not entirely sure. I, I believe like a while ago, there's like something saying that, oh, well, I did it and I got Nova Shenron second instead of third. Again, I don't know, but just know. First wish is for hit and possibly a welcome hit, as you can, well, as you saw. Second wish for me, I got Ice Shenron. And for the third wish, I got Nova Shenron. And then for the fourth and final wish, I got, well, you do get Omega Shenron. Keep in mind, it's not the Venus Mold version, it's just the normal version of Omega Shenron. Not custom, so I'll just preset one, right? Preset one of Omega Shenron, and that's all of the characters we can get as of right now in Xenoverse 2 by summoning Shenron. And now we have how to unlock the Supreme Kai of Time as a playable character in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And I imagine this is also going to be a part of a video where people skip towards because. 
They, make, they didn't make it easy. <laughs> so this is without any sort of shadow of a doubt the most awkward character to actually unlock in Xenoverse 2, and this is how you do it. You need to clear the Canton City Tournament event twice. That doesn't sound too tricky, does it? No, it doesn't, and it is it is fairly easy to do, actually, even twice, but this is where the issue comes. This is one of those online events, meaning that it will be available for a couple of days, and then it goes away for a set, well, not even for a set period of time. It'll go away, and then we don't know when it comes back. It's every couple of weeks, every month, every couple of months. Again, we just don't know, and we don't find out until like what 24 to 48 hours before it actually comes back so you're more than welcome in the comments to ask oh is it when is it coming back but no one can give you an answer because well we don't know until pretty much it's available now you can get ready for this yeah you know, for this right now if it's not available firstly you do need to actually clear these universe 2 story mode i don't know if you also need to clear the unknown history the secret ending i guess but I would say that if you want to unlock Supreme Car of Time and the event isn't available right now, do make sure you've cleared the secret ending. Check the description if you haven't done so already in the, the comments and all that for on how to unlock the distorted time eggs to then actually be able to go and even comp you know, attempt the secret ending for Xenoverse 2, the unknown history with Bardock and future Gohan and stuff like that. Make sure you've done that. And then once the event is available, again, you will be able to do it. You just need to clear it twice. The first time you clear it, you will get this loading screen right here. Side note, I've just realized that this is loading screen number one. Awesome, cool. I, I, I mean, I like the loading screen. It's of Zeno Trunks and the Supreme Kai Time herself, mimicking the Goku and Freezer sort of pose. And then the second time you clear the event, you'll then actually get her as a playable character. And then after you've cleared it twice, you can then select the individual missions to get a Z rank if you really want to and all that, as well as unlocking the other loading screens, super souls and other skills that you can actually use on your CAC, CAC, avatar and stuff like that. Again, I know this isn't necessarily helpful because well, it's not, well, it's hell to unlock it, but you may not be able to actually get her as of listening to this part of the video right here, right now. But you can get ready for it. I also do believe that you do need an online subscription, so PlayStation Plus or whatever the, the, the uh, Nintendo and or Xbox versions of those are. Otherwise, I don't think you can even, like, go there, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Long story short, complete the Content City Tournament event twice it doesn't have to be in a row you can just go, come back to it later on once it goes and comes back but you have to clear it twice and you know you have to clear it twice in total first time gets you loading screen one and the second time gets you supreme car time as a playable character herself once again though we don't know when this will be back it again it's at the world tournament area so if you just want it just might keep looking at your um over world map or what have you for when there's like that rainbow sort of multicolored uh question mark or exclamation point wherever it is go there once it's available and it'll fade to black and then you'll be able to do the content city event again i know it's not the most helpful information but bandai make it really hard sometimes <laughs> so starting off with the dlc characters and presets let's start off with the pre-order bonus i guess dlc zero if you really want to go that far maybe i don't know but that gets you Goku Black base form, as you can see right here. Once again, this is a pre-order bonus, but you can purchase it. You get base form Goku Black, and as you can see there, the tail, tail pail, or however you pronounce it, vehicle to use in Canton City. Again, that is the pre-order bonus. DLC Zero, sure, why not? <laughs> But now going to the actual DLC, once the game was released, we now have the DB Super Pack 1. The Super Pack 1, I think it's also called, also just known as DLC 1. So getting this will get you preset 1 of Frost, preset 2 of Frost, and Kaba as playable characters. It is this right here, this pack right here, the DB Super Pack 1. Oh, and in addition to Frost and Kaba, I believe to get preset two of Super Saiyan Blue Goku, as well as Awoken Hit, 
I believe you do also need to have, it's either DLC 1 that we've just gone over, or you just need to have the latest update of Xenoverse 2, and then unlock either, well, the first preset. So if you have hit and Super Saiyan Blue Goku unlocked, but you don't have a Woken hit and preset 2 of Super Saiyan Blue Goku, which is Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, and technically by extension, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 Goku unlocked, then just know that you may need to purchase DB Super Pack 1, DLC number one. Moving on now to DB Super Pack 2. Getting this will get you God of Destruction Champa as a playable character, as well as Vados as a playable character. It's why look well, it's this one right here. To unlock, strangely enough, it's so random they added him here, but to unlock Bojack, Super Saiyan, Rose, Goku Black, and Zomasu. You just need to purchase the DB Super Pack 3 DLC, also known as DLC number 3. Side note, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe to get presets 2 of DBS Future Trunks, I do believe you need this DLC. It's either this DLC or the next one coming up in a moment and you unlock these two presets 2, 3 and 4. But it doesn't tell you, like it literally doesn't tell you right here or on the next one it just says, oh you get you know, new skills, new costumes, new power quests, titles, Bulljack as a mentor and stuff like that. But basically, to get Bulljack, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and Zomasu, just purchase DLC free, the DB Super Pack free. And to unlock Fused Zomasu and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, and a few more presets, but we'll go for those in a moment, you just need the DB Super Pack 4, also known as DLC number 4. As I've just mentioned for DLC 3, I don't know which DLC you get preset 2, preset 3, and preset 4 of DB Super Trunks from. Um, it might just be that you get these automatically, I don't know, but I also believe you get once it comes, well, once I can find him, preset two of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from this DLC, as well as presets three and presets four of Super Saiyan Blue Goku. But again, with that said, it doesn't mention it anywhere here. It just says the new characters are Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Fuse Zamasu. It literally doesn't mention anything about additional presets. So with that said, if you don't have them unlocked already, then you'll need to get this DLC for those characters that I've just mentioned. And that is everything from the first season, I guess, of DLC for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Moving on now to the extra packs. To get Buhan, well, Majin Buu, Gohan Absorbed, Deborah, Android 13, and Tapion as playable characters in Dragon Ball Universe 2, you need this DLC right here, Extra Pack 1, also known as DLC number 5. To unlock DB Super Android 17, also known as Ranger 17, Jiren, Ultra Instinct Goku Preset 1 and Preset 2, as well as Fu as playable characters, you need this DLC right here, Extra Pack 2, also known as DLC number 6. And moving on now to DLC number 7, also known as officially Extra Pack 3, getting this will get you Super Saiyan Kefla and Super Baby Vegeta 2 as playable characters and for the final extra pack dlc we have dlc number eight also known as officially extra pack number four getting this will get you preset one of super saiyan blue gogeta preset two of super saiyan blue gogeta and full power super saiyan brody from the dragon ball super brody movie and once again that's every character or every dlc character from the extra pack DLC season, whatever you want to call it. Moving on now to the next season of DLC for Xenoverse 2, which was Ultra Pack 1, also known as DLC number 9. Beginning this will get you Ribrian, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and Super Saiyan God Vegeta as playable characters. There's only two Ultra Pack sets instead of there being four, like how there were for the DB Super Pack season as well as for the extra pack but getting dlc number 10 also known as ultra pack 2 the official name will get you majub preset 1 as well as android 
21 as playable characters and it should look something like this. Moving on now to Legendary Pack 1. So side note, we can, well, as YouTubers, we called Legendary Pack 1 DLC 12 instead of DLC 11, even though the last DLC was DLC 10, that leads two characters here. We called it DLC 12 because we, at the time, was like titling the film, well, the videos and thumbnails as like DLC 11 for the free Supreme Kai of Time event, well, or rather the free Supreme Kai of Time update that came out beforehand. So we called DLC well, Legendary Pack 1, DLC 12, just a side note in case it's confusing, but getting the official name of it, which is Legendary Pack 1, getting that will get you Pycon as a playable character, as well as Preset 1 of Topo, and I believe Preset 2 of Topo. The only reason I'm not sure fully if it gives you Preset 2 of Topo is because what you can see right here, he's got two skills that were from previous par well previous DLCs in to unlock them for your characters. You have to do those parallel quests and stuff like that, again, just for your character. Ultimate Charge was added in Ultra Pack 1, and Peril Rush was added in Extra pack two. So if you have legendary pack one purchased, but you don't have preset two, then just know you may need to get those two other DLCs, but I'm not entirely sure, but I just thought it may be worth mentioning right there. So moving on now, we have legendary pack two, also known as DLC 13. So getting legendary pack two will give you access to full power Jiren as a playable character. DB Super Gogeta from the Dragon Ball Super Brody movie as a playable character, Super Saiyan 2 Cardifla as well as Super Saiyan 2 Kale as playable characters. Next up we have the 20 customization unlock keys that you can unlock in Xenoverse 2. You unlock all 20 of these the exact same way, and that is from clearing a raid. Once you've cleared a raid, you'll have a chance of getting one of these. There's no special trick to clearing the raid, you just have to clear it. Sorry if not, I heard rumors that, oh, you need to be the last person to get the last hit on the raid, or you actually have to defeat the raid boss, like actually defeat it, like get the health down to zero. None of that's true, you just have to clear the raid, and then hopefully you'll get one of the partner customization unlock keys. So that said, let me go over the 20 of them. The first partner customization key will get you custom Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the second key will get you custom Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. The third key will get you custom Future Trunks. The fourth key will give you custom Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. The fifth key will give you custom Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. The sixth key will give you custom Taipion. The seventh key will give you custom Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. The eighth key will give you custom Ranger 17, or rather Android 17 from Dragon Ball Super. The ninth key will give you custom Janemba. The tenth key will give you custom full power Super Saiyan Brody from Dragon Ball Super Brody. The eleventh key will give you custom GT Goku. The twelfth key will give you custom Omega Shenron. The thirteenth key will give you custom Margin Boo Gohan Absorbed Buhan. The fourteenth key will give you custom Jiren. The fifth key, fifteenth even, not the fifth. The fifteenth key will give you custom Super Saiyan Kefla. And then the remaining five partner customization keys will give you access to custom Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, custom Super Saiyan God Goku, custom Super Saiyan God Vegeta, custom base form Goku Black, and custom Super Baby Vegeta 2. Side note, as of me recording this part right here, the update hasn't actually came out, but by the time this video is uploaded, it would have, so I can't show you footage of those five previous custom unlock keys, custom unlock key 16 all the way through 20. But again, you unlock them all the exact same way. All 20 are unlocked the same way. Do keep in mind though, that if you unlock, for example, custom key 15, which is for Super Saiyan Kefla, you do need to have the, the appropriate DLC. So for that one, it will be extra pack free for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. To unlock Ultra Instinct Sign Goku, preset one of Dispo and GT Vegeta, which would also technically include Super Vegeta 1 and Super Vegeta 2, all you need to do is purchase the Canton City Vault DLC pack, and you'll get these as playable characters. 
Okay, we're actually fairly close now to actually having every character and every preset of every character unlocked in Dragon Ball Universe 2. Moving on now to the custom mentors. Now, I believe there'll be about five or six different sections here. I'm not going to break every single thing down into like, for example, how to get custom Krillin or how to get custom Vegeta, how to get custom... Uh, Lord Slug, because it, for this part right here, it's all exactly the same. So long story short, to get a custom mentor for this section, all you need to do is actually get the character to train you. Now, I've already done that. So what you need, actually, real quick, let me just read out what you actually can do right now without having to like do anything different, if that makes sense. Not bad, what am I doing? Play data. So I believe there's 24 for this little section right here. Those are, and all these are custom, but these are custom Krillin, Tien, Yamcha, Piccolo, Raditz, Kid Gohan, Nappa, Vegeta, Zarbon, Dodoria, First Form Freezer, Android 18, Perfect Cell, Lord Slug, Majin Buu, Hercule, Gohan, and Videl, Goltenks, Turles, Broly, God of Destruction Beerus, Pan, Jacko, and Goku. Now, again, to unlock all of those as a custom mentor, so you can change the moveset, Super Soul, uh, the color of the outfit, and stuff like that, all you need to do, once again, is get them unlocked as your mentor, so you can actually train under them. Now, you may not be able to actually get some of them especially like goku and stuff like that until you a level up b progress through the xenoverse 2 story mode and c or three whatever i said complete all six of these advancement tests right here i forget if you need to z rank these to get the well to get the next one or the final one but i'd recommend z rank them anyway because if you z rank all six of these here you will get potential unleashed as an awoken skill yes really you have to get the z rank so that's just how to get all 24 of those as custom mentors in Dragon Balls in the verse 2, but there are a few more, but it's slightly different for the rest, which we'll go over, well, right now, actually. Okay, and now moving on to the three mentors as of right now in Dragon Balls in the verse 2 that you can only get as mentors and by extension as custom mentors if you have the corresponding DLC pack. Start well, the three of them are hit, as you can see right here, Bojack and Zamasu. Oh, yes. So to unlock Hit as a custom, well, as a mentor and a custom mentor, you need to buy the DB Super Pack 1, also known as, well, just DLC number one. To unlock Bojack as a mentor, you need to purchase DB Super Pack 3, also known as just DLC 3. And to unlock Zomosu as a mentor, you need DB Super Pack 4, again, also known as DLC number four. Then once you have them, go and talk to them in the city. I think you should be able to talk because I'm DLC mission, well, DLC stuff. I do think that once you have them purchased, I think you should be able to talk to them immediately. If not, do the, what I've already mentioned, try progressing through the advancement tests and gain a Z rank on them just to be safe, just in case. Also try leveling up if possible and try progressing through the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 story mode if you have not done that already. And then you should be able to talk to them and then once you've done the first mission, you'll then have access to them to customize the clothing, the skills, the super souls, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so this is also another part of the video where I feel like people are going to skip to. So if you have, hey, how are you doing? I hope this video has been useful to you so far. So for the next, well, there's five more mentors that you can get, but it might be a bit tricky to get them only because if, well, if you don't know, you don't know. And those are the five following characters. Wiz, Final Form Cooler, Android 16, Future Gohan and Bardock. The reason why this might be slightly different to get, I mean, you can see there's Gohan, Wiz is just past Goku. Doesn't matter, you know, you know where they are. If you don't, if you can see the 
Like, what are, what are they? Like, on football, for me, it's like a grayed out star. That's where a mentor is. For example, here's Zomosu. The reason it's grayed out is because I've done everything, right? But if you, we can see there on the like heads up display, it says instructor, uh, well, instructor. And it's got like an orange and green H. Actually, I don't know what it's got H for. Like, why? Doesn't matter. I'm getting distracted. Um, Basically, for these five mentors here, you may not actually see them or you may not be able to talk to them even if you've done everything else in the game. And that's for this reason right here. Just after Xenoverse 2 was released, about a month or two, or actually I think about the same time as DLC 1, they released this. This was and still is completely free to download. I don't know what the text isn't loading up. Pause through the text here if you want. This will give you those five mentors and then you should then be able to talk to them in Canton City. If you do need to download this, then well, download it. But I do have a feeling that, well, because of how long Xenoverse 2 has been out for now, just as long as you get the latest update, I think you might get this anyway, but just in case you, for example, Bardock isn't at this area for you right here, you know, again, Wiz, Final Form Cooler, Bardock, Future Gohan, and Android 16, then well, you know that you need to download this from your consoles store again it's completely free it was free when it first came out i don't even know why they did it it was weird i've not done it again since at least not as of this upload so just download that and then talk to them in the city and if at that point you still can't talk to them you'll just need to level up progress through the, the universe 2 story mode and just complete it if need be and clear the six advancement tests that are by the Orange Star High School, and that should then get you these unlocked and then just do the first training mission. And then you will get access to all five of those mentors as custom mentors. So you can change the color of the armor, the skills, the super soul, you know, just stuff like that. Okay, good stuff. Let's now move on. And the final mentor outside of the partner customization keys that you can get is custom foo. I think I know how to get this one, but I'm not entirely sure. And I've tried looking online and it's either exceptionally long winded, which that defeats the purpose of this video specifically, or it's just wrong, right? So to get custom foo, first you need DL6, DL6, yeah, you need DLC number six, also known as Extra Pack 2. It's the update that adds, well, foo, Ranger 17, or rather DB Super Android 17, Ultra Instinct Goku, and Jiren. Now, I believe, because again, I've already done this, right? But I believe if you go to, well, you go to the Time Nest, and you need to go through the Talkopedia. Now, I believe this is the Talkopedia here. I believe the way you get Fu as a custom mentor is you need to clear at least the first mission in the Talkopedia against Goku and Vegeta, and they turn into Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Then if you either just finish that off or back out, Fu should be standing around this general area here. Talk to him and he should give you some sort of option to, like, well, for him to join you. Then if you do that, that should then unlock him as a custom mentor. Or rather, as you do this, like, go out on a time patrol, there should be an option to select your mentor or who goes along with you. And it should say Foo. So yeah, it should be this mission here. Just clear this one. And then again, Foo will, well, Foo should be standing next to that time rift or again, roughly around that general area. He, he's not like hiding like what Valos is if you get DLC 2 or whatever. Um, so yeah, just then talk to him and there should be some sort of option for him to join you on the Talkopedia time patrol. And then therefore, you should then get him, you know, get him as a custom mentor to then change the, you know, the clothing colors, the uh, skills, super souls, stats and stuff like that so for this part of the video i want to go over the i guess like what would they be like the crystal raid villainous mode versions of certain characters that can only be used in the crystal raid modes either the one versus five single crystal raid mode or the double two versus four crystal raid mode and i'll be completely honest i don't actually know how i unlocked 
any of these, but I'm fairly certain you unlock these anyway if you just unlock a version of the character. So one of these characters, as an example, is, for example, uh, well, what is it? A lot of them are DLC characters. Like one of them is just Hercule. So actually at the start of the video, I actually said, I'll oh, preset to or whatever of Hercule, the, the uh, raid version. I think you get these characters just from either getting the DLC that the character is from. So for example, for Deborah, it would DLC 5, also known as officially Extra Pack 1. And for characters such as, again, Hercule or Turles or Lord Slug, or for example, the Masked Sane, even though they all only have one preset, I'm fairly certain you unlock those just by unlocking the normal character. Because, again, as of this upload, these characters I'm about to mention can only be you know used in the Crystal Raid modes. And those are the following characters. All of these are villainous mode, unless it's a super villain character. But those are villainous mode, Lord Slug, villainous mode, Turles, super villain, Metal Cooler, super, well, not super villain, Android 13, but just the normal villainous mode, Android 13, super villainous, perfect cell, and super villainous mode, super sane, or legendary super sane, Broly, Bojack, Deborah, Margin Vegeta, Prince of Destruction Vegeta, Buhan, Margin Boo, Gohan Absorbed, Super Villain Kid Boo, Janemba, Golden Freezer, Omega Shenron, The Masked Sane, who could that possibly be? Let me know in the comments. Super Villain Small Jamcha, Mira, Hercule, Cyberman, Full Power Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly, Android 16, Super Baby Vegeta 2, Android 21, Jiren, God of Destruction Topo, and Full Power Jiren. Again, these can, but well, these are the Venus Mode versions of those characters that, again, as of this upload, can only be used in the Xenoverse 2 Crystal Raid modes. And finally, we now have the gifts that you can buy and give to certain characters in Canton City to then unlock certain characters and certain special presets and costumes of those characters. Now, to get the gifts, you have to go to the TP Metal Store. And as of right now, because of course it happens when I'm recording this video, the gift section is grayed out. I literally can't click on it. If I click on it, I just get a little bit of a buzz sound. Again, these are things that like happen in rotations. What are the rotations? No one knows. Um, so if you're asking the comments, you're more than welcome to for the algorithm and all that. Actually don't. But if you're asking the comments, oh, when will the gifts be back? I don't know what you would expect because, well, none of us know. And we typically don't know until very soon before they actually happen. But that said, as of this upload, uh, recently the Xenoverse 2 in-game information board, this right here has actually been updated so it actually now works you can see there it says the uh, tp mouse store lineup has been updated there's no gifts there so just keep checking that at least right but now with that said if well what gift gives you what thank you for asking that is what we are now about to do Yes, it is. I do have some of them bought, uh, like multiple copies of them, just because I can, and just in case I wanted to do a video like this. And the wait, I've got, um, I think all of them right here. Where are we at? Item list. Okay, so if you buy the Goku gift number one, buy that, then go and talk to Goku in Kanton City, where, wherever he may be, and then he will. If you give him this this gift, I think it's there's a chance, not that it's guaranteed, but if you give him this gift, he should give you the Goku Journey to the West outfit. Talk to Gohan in the city when you've got the gift, and he'll give you the Gohan Journey to the gift, or rather it unlocks the Gohan Journey to the West outfit. Talk to Hercule when you've got the gift, and he'll give you, or you'll get access rather to the Super Saiyan Hercule preset. Yes, really, it's just for where he finds Beebus or whatever it is. Getting the Wiz, uh, what is it? The Wiz uh, gift will give you the Wiz poop staff because that's funny, the male. Giving the gift to Android 7, 18 even, not 17, to Android 18, there you go, will allow you to use the swimsuit version of Android 18. Give the Nappa gift to, well, Nappa, and you can then use the Toupee preset and keep in mind, well, if you go for Super Saiyan on Nappa, it removes it. That might get fixed in the future, who knows. Giving the gift to Videl will get you the trendy swimsuit preset of Videl. 
Giving the gift to... Uh, okay, so this is a bit weird. For the tower gift, you have to actually talk to Golku. Yes, or oh, it says it right there, right? Pause to read. All that good stuff. You have to talk to Golku in Canton City. He then gives it to... Well, I think he actually uses instant transmission. It's weird. And then he goes and apparently finds Tower, even though she's supposed to be obliterated. I don't know. And then you get the trendy swimsuit Tower preset unlocked. The Golku gift number two... Once you've got that, talk to him in Canton City once again, and you'll get the snow suit that he wears in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Same thing for Vegeta. Talk to him. There's only, as of right now, one Vegeta gift. Talk to him in Canton City, which you've got the Vegeta gift, and you'll then uh, get the uh, Dragon Ball Super snow suit. That's a bit of a tongue twister. That Dragon Ball Super snow suit preset of Vegeta unlocked. Uh, would you... Give it to Android. Actually, it's another Android 18 one. Yeah, there is. Oh, it's the Santa outfit. I completely forgot about that. Um, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Uh, giving the gift number two to Android 18 will get you Android 18 in the Santa uh, costume. I forgot that was in the game. Uh, and same thing for Videl, Common Sense. And then we've got these three right here. The Mirror, Feud, Zamasu, and Demigra gifts, which you've got them, go and talk to Fu in Canton City next to, well, this, you know, at this part right here, this place right here. And again, I'm not going to do it because I've already got it. And would you hand them over, he'll then give you access to any other version they just gave him. So if you, gave, if you give him the Mirror, El, not outfit, the Mirror gift, you'll then get access to Final Four Mirror as a playable character only in the crystal raid mold it would be the normal crystal raid mold and all the double crystal raid mold moving on now if you give pan the gift you get the straw hat pan preset or like um outfit whatever if you give gift number three to goku in content city you will get well you'll be able to use goku in his end of z the end of dragon ball z gi like that light turquoise one or light blue whatever it is and if you talk to Majub when you have a gift, you'll get preset two of Majub, but it's a, it's like um, a an, an oob inspired like preset. Like it's just Majub, but it is oob, you know, inspired. I guess is like the word there. And you know what? I actually think that is. I think that's every single character and every single preset of every single character that you can unlock as of right now, as of Legendary Pack 2, in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I don't believe I've missed any of the gifts, but if I have, and I haven't made a note of it or anything, again, just go to the TP Metal Store, you can see it right there, in Canton City, and once the gift option becomes available there's normally like a couple you can buy at one time if need be there's like a description as you just saw so if i have missed one just read it it literally tells you what to do it is incredibly in my opinion at least it's incredibly straight forward to unlock the special costume two of android 18 and i believe it's the special costume number two for videl which as you just saw are the santa outfits you need to go and purchase a specific gift from the TP Metal Store in Canton City. As of me recording this, I don't believe it will be available. So just keep checking the TP Metal Store. Once we go there, I'll show you just the general, well, how to get it if you don't know. Welcome. So go there and in a moment, well, it says gifts. Click on gifts and there should be one here that says something like Android 18 Special Gift 2 or Android 18 Gift 2 and gift two for Videl. Once you've got those, it has to be gift two, then go and find Videl and Android 18 in Canton City. They are actually quite close to each other, yeah, for the most part. Talk to Android 18, uh, and if you've got the gift, well, first you have to get Be My Instructor, then talk to her again, and then give her the gift gift two and then you'll then have android 18 in her santa outfit available and then do the exact same thing for videl here talk to them click on be my uh, instructor or whatever it is then talk to them again then you can have then the option to give gift two or wh whichever gift you want but gift two is the santa outfit for both videl and gift two for android 18 and you'll then have the santa outfits available for them in the partner customization I didn't have this for a very long time, and I thought I did. So, yeah, that's that there. But that's how you get the Santa outfits for Android 18 and for 
Videl. Do keep in mind, however, that the T I don't know when the TPML store updates, so there's a good chance it may not be available for a while. There's nothing you can do apart from wait. We don't know what the time your know, timetable is. I don't think either Dam uh, Bandai or Dimps or whoever's in charge of it is. I think it's just whatever they decide for whenever. So just keep checking. It might not be available for several weeks or even a couple of months, but once it's available, do make sure you get it if you want it. I think it costs like 500 TP metal, so maybe go and grind them out now. So once it's available, you can get it. But yeah, that's how you get those two special versions of Videl and Android 18 in Xenoverse 2. To unlock Gamma 1, Gamma 2, and Gohan, in base form to potential unleashed from Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Once again, all you have to do is purchase either the Hero of Justice Pack 1, as you can see right here, or can I find it? No, it's not there anywhere. Or the Hero of Justice Pack set, which comes with Hero of Justice Pack 1 and 2. But I do think, and this may change by the time you watch this in the future, the special edition, which is right there of Xenoverse 2, that uh, I think that comes with the base game, the DLC 1, 2, and 3, and 4, then the Hero of Justice Pack 1 and 2. It misses out the extra stuff and the ultra stuff and the Content City broadcast stuff, but whatever. But that's how you get those three characters in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. To unlock Gohan Beast, Power Awakening Piccolo, and Orange Piccolo, all you need to do is purchase the Hero of Justice Pack 2, and that will get you those three characters specifically. Alternatively, you can also get the Hero of Justice Pack set, which will come with Hero of Justice Pack 1 and Hero of Justice Pack 2 to get all six of these characters from Gamma 1 all the way to Orange. Piccolo, ooh. Next up, we have the Festival presets, which you can unlock from the Festival of Universes online event. Before we go over this, what these characters are, you're more than welcome in the comments to ask when the next Festival of Universes event is gonna happen, but you won't get a reply because we quite literally do not know. We just don't know. So if you ask, you'll probably be ignored. We just don't know. But you can only get these from having online and through participating in the Festival of Universities event. So I'll go over a very quick guide as well in a moment on how to get them. But the characters are this preset here of Goku. Preset, what is it? Six of uh, Krillin. Preset four of Nappa. Of Raditz even. Preset four of Nappa as well. A preset of Captain Ginyu. A preset of Android 17, not Ranger 17, just Android 17, Android 17 and Android 18. Perfect cell, not full power, but perfect cell right there with the perfect attack, parentheses, festival. Preset whatever of Videl, where are we at? Uh, then, pre uh, what is it? Preset 4 of Margin Boo. Preset 2 of Legendary Super Saiyan Brody, not full power, but Legendary Super Saiyan Brody from Dragon Ball Z. A preset of Pan, a preset of Hit after the Awoken version, which I don't know why this doesn't have the Awoken, it just seems like such a waste, but whatever. Uh, a preset 2 of Super Saiyan Rose, a Goku Black. Preset 2 of Zomasu, not fused, that one there, that might get one in the future, who knows. Pre just uh, preset 2 of Zomasu there. Preset 2 of Deborah. Preset 2 of Super Saiyan Kefla. Preset 3 of Super Saiyan Blue Golgita, Preset 2 of Full Pelgirin, and Preset 2 of Dispo. So again, the Festival of Universes event has to be on. The first one, as I'm recording this, has finished. There's going to be at least seven, I would think, and probably repeat ones, but the event itself has to be on for you to actually unlock these as playable preset of characters. Now to actually access the Festival of Universities area to do this or to start this, talk to this robot here. It, well, he's here on the Canton City stage. You can see exactly where I am right there. Really? It doesn't matter if it's Universe 6, 7 or 11, but because Universe 7 is always going to win because of course it is, and that's the universe I picked, let's go there. And yeah, once we load in, I love that um, loading screen there. That's perfect. Now, again, as of right now, the first Festival of Universes event has finished. Now, by the time you watch this, the second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever may be on, but normally there will be characters standing around like that, that you can unlock as a special festival preset, like of Gogeta Blue, 
Goku, um, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, Kefla, every single character will be scattered around the area here. All you then need to do is talk to them and you'll then boost the camaraderie points with them. Now to boost the points, honestly, just play the game. That's all you have to do. There are certain ways you can boost them, but if you want to specifically focus on just boosting them to then get maxed out, there is actually a very easy and quick and just very nonchalant, if that's even the word for this, I guess, uh, parallel quest that you can do. So let's go back to Canton City and I'll tell you what the parallel quest is that you can do to easily and quickly and effectively max out your, not mental, but the festival presets. Back into Canton City now. Just keep rinse and repeating. You can do it online or offline. Offline will probably be better. Go to the offline parallel quest rollbar, then select, I believe it will be parallel quest number 81, is it? No, it's not. I always forget which one it is. Parallel quest 83, this one here. You can clear this in about 15, 20 seconds on your own. So do that. And then I believe if you have the mentors or the characters as your teammates, or so pick your character or Goku or have you, then have two other Golkus with you. I believe that will boost it faster. I forget off the top of my head. I'm not entirely sure. Now, at this point, you have this parallel quest unlocked. If not, just progress through the, the Xenoverse 2 story mode and clear the previous parallel quest, and then you will unlock parallel quest 83, which is the best one to max out the friendship for the Festival of Universities events. Now, also, well, the couch is whatever, right? Now, with that said, they may add more festival presets in the future. I would assume that it's going to be the exact same way to max them out as it is right now. So do keep that in mind. I'll more than likely do an updated version of this in the future. So do just stay tuned for that just in case it's different, you know, in any way, shape or form. And that is how to unlock every single character and every single preset and version of every single character as of January 1st, 2024 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now, we already know there's going to be at least two more DLC packs, you know, at, at least from this point and probably more after that. So I'll definitely do an updated version of this video when the new DLCs come out and all that good stuff. Will they add Ultra Ego Vegeta from the manga? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. But thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Again, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that said, thank you once again. More videos on the screen right now. And I will see you on one of these other videos on the screen right now in just a moment.